Ooh, all right, done with another model. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rec Room Model Showcases. And today, oh, we have Phantom Foxy version two. I didn't show off version one for some reason, but yeah, I eat my finger pen. Yeah, I was leaving there for the rest of the video. But yeah, probably get out of here anyways. Um, This is probably one of my greatest inventions of all time. Look at this baby. I love it. Guys, put put in the comments below if you like it too. But yeah, he is kind of tall. Yeah, he sh may be the shortest animatronic, but he ain't afraid to step up and fight for his rights. Because he's a fox. Well, anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah. So here we have the bottom. Which already is an improvement. Like, look at this. Oh, fudge. Oh, f I can't believe you've done this. Anyways. Which is, I mean, anyways. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so excited to show this off. But it's al it is, it's already improving over the original. Like, look at this. It looks so much better. Look at, th look at this. Look at this! Anyways, uh, yeah. Here we got some actual withering. Oh my god. Oh my god. Me doing withering on an animatronic? <gasps> <laughs> All right, yeah, uh, it's very good looking in my opinion. I actually really like it, and I actually teased this in my other video. Go check that out if you haven't. <gasps> e. Oh, and I use some outlines, by the way, and this. I used some um, other model as a base because of how accurate it was. It was so good. I should use the base as a my new. Oh my god, I keep getting on track, off track. Please, don't let me get off track again, God. Anyways, so yeah. We have the shorts, which are actually withered, and uh, yeah, there's nothing much to say about them. We have the pelvis, which I think is looking not that bad. It's a little messy, but uh, hey, I was uh, tired, so yeah. Ah, fudge. Okay, okay, I have to get my pen out. Oh, jeez, okay. That is a lot of mesh. All right. But, yeah, here are the arms. I made an endoskeleton. Have been making since the beginning. And... Yeah, I think that's about it for now. I don't know what I'm dumb. Here are the arms. The hand is already an improvement. Like, look at that. Look at that. It is so much better. All right, I'm gonna bring out version one now. <sighs> I'm going off track a little too much, I think. But I'm sorry. I'm just so excited to show this off. It's my greatest creation yet. All right, here is trash version one. Wait, what? There we go. <laughs> I'm too excited. I forgot what what my button layout was. Uh, yeah. Here's version one. And oh my god, I didn't notice something. The ears, they look so bad. Why did I think this was good back then? Why? Well, anyways, uh, yeah, back to this guy. But, uh, yeah. That's about it. The stomach is by far my favorite stomach I've made because of just how good it looks. It looks like Fo Withered un Phantom Foxy's chest and like that. Well, yeah. <laughs> There's an endoskeleton inside. You can see. There we go. I actually made an opening in the torso. So that's cool. Very, very cool. Not that important. Anyways. Here we have the face. It looks kind of trash at first, like, without the ears and the teeth and the bottom jaw, it looks kind of bad, but with all the other things on, it looks pretty good. I think, at least. The, I feel like the eye patch can be a little bit bigger, but, hey, I did my work for the day. But, yeah. Look at this, too! But, uh, yeah. The head, I actually made an endoskeleton, which looks way better than the first version I used. Which is a uh, uh, okay. Um, th don't just hide that ugly thing. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop blabbering around. But yeah, I think that's about it. Actually, let's do a comparison between these two. So for one, I think one of them has more accurate coloring. I try to make it as accurate as possible, make it look like a burnt foxy. You know, said so this guy who's just broccoli. Who's just broccoli. I'm forever gonna call this man Broccoli Foxy. It rhymes. I didn't mean for it to rhyme. Whatever. And for one, the ears on this guy look a lot better than this. 
And for one, the tufts of hair aren't actually tufts of hair. They're more or less just hair, I guess. I, I don't know. And I actually made the big gash on the side of his head. Like, oh my god, I didn't do it here. I just made, like, a weird opening for this. And all that's all I did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was lazy back then. And you can't remove the ears. Well, it, it, uh, except for this one, but because it's attached to the endoskeleton head. Meh, whatever. And this one looks so weird. Alright, anyways. Should probably stop complaining about this guy. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Come like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!